All right, what is good, Jits? Welcome to Boot Camp Day. Who knows what? Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it so far. We're almost at three weeks on this, or we're like halfway through. Um, we're like halfway through the second week. So, um, yeah, this will be this will be a good one. Um, today, we're going to be talking about patience. Patience is a huge thing um, in trading, and honestly, it's probably one of the reasons why you guys either rush into trades lose unnecessary trades, get, you know, overexcited about trades and then, you know, end up entering without any confirmation. Um, and this is also just like applicable in life. You guys have to have patience um, in terms of like your entire journey in life because you're not going to get rich quick. Anything that, you know, causes you to get rich quick or you think will get you rich quick, it, it won't. It's going to take time. Um, it, it will happen fast, but not as fast as you think. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a month. It might happen in a year or two years or three. That's what you guys need to be thinking about. So with that being said, let's get started and let's start talking about patience and why we need it in the market, how we can apply it in the market. And then from there, how we can, you know, practice exercises to help us, you know, be patient. Um, because I think nowadays, especially with the whole technology in our world, our attention span is super little, okay, and that's and that's very difficult because our our brains um, are just constantly feeding for dopamine boosts. And the worst thing about trading is it is a huge dopamine boost right when you hit buy, right when you hit sell, because you are thinking immediately about all the profits that you could potentially make. You can't have that mindset in this. You cannot have that mindset whatsoever going into this because if you have that, then you're only thinking about the money. You're not thinking about percentages. You're not thinking about probability. All you want is just that little hit. This is, um, there was a study done talking about people gambling that, you know, once they actually place the bet, that's the dopamine boost that they get. That dopamine boost is more than when just placing the bet. That dopamine boost is more than when they actually win the money. So no matter win or lose, right when you place that bet, you're getting that dopamine boost, you're getting that hit. It's the same exact thing with trading. Right when you press that button, that's when you get that hit, right? And again, you you probably make the money, but that's not when you're excited. You're excited when you place the trade because you're thinking of the money that you can make, right? It's the same thing. You never think about the money that you could lose. So we need to start thinking about the money that we could lose, okay? Um, Patience is 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 a is a very very big thing in trading in that you know you guys are are fiending to place a trade, but you also have to wait for your setup for your confirmation and sometimes you won't even take a trade during the day. Most of the time I can find a trade to take, but with you guys right, you want to wait for a good, high quality, um, high potential, high probability setup that's going to get you paid, not just entering off of oh, it looks good or like, oh, like only one confluence I'll enter because like I want to take a trade, right? We can't be thinking like that. So what are some what are some rules? What are some things that can help us build on patience? Uh, number one is literally just having a trading plan set. Set up literally your exact trading plan and it should be a list, a step-by-step -step list of when you should be able to execute. So whether that's, okay, first we need to see a liquidity sweep. Okay, we see that and then we see a break of structure. Okay, we see that and then maybe you got to wait a little bit more until you see a fair value gap get entered in and then, and then you see a reaction and then you enter. That literally solves your patience problem right there by just giving you a step-by-step -step list on when to execute. And if none of those things apply, you don't trade. Make it, make it so you can make it so it's easy to be patient and give yourself rules so that patience doesn't really even have to be anything that you need to think about. It's literally should just be something that you are always doing in the market and you should honestly be doing it in life too. You need to be patient. You can't be rushing things because if you rush things, you get sloppy work done. If you rush things, you actually won't get the job done. If you, right, if you, if you try and do something too quick, right? It probably won't work out versus if you actually be patient, you know, actually put time, effort and thought into it, it'll pay off. Okay. So with that being said, first step, have a trading plan, have a list of things ready to execute. Again, this is going back to the dopamine thing. What do we have to do next? We have to make it so we are emotionless when we're trading because part of the patience game is you are willing to sit out a day. You're willing to take your time in this and you're not thinking about, oh, I, I just want to make this money. I want to make this money, right? So be, be honestly, like when you come into the market, 
think I do not want to trade today. Because if we're being honest, the probability of you guys right now, right, obviously you want to get reps in and that's how you can get practice and get better. But of you guys right now should be, I want to be as patient as possible and I should be looking not to trade. The market should be giving me a reason to enter a trade and I shouldn't be making up a reason for me to trade. Does that make sense? You should be waiting for the market to give you the opportunity to trade. You should not be forcing yourself into trades, right? And we'll talk about forcing trades later in this course or, pr or probably in like a subsection of a video, but that's a huge thing. If, you, if you're forcing trades, odds are you're fiending for that dopamine boost. You're thinking just about the money. You force that, you force your bias upon the market when the market isn't even following that bias. You're pretty much just in your head kind of making this up saying like, oh yeah, like I think market will go in this direction. Like it looks good. Like, no, no. What What's in your training plan? Did, did this happen? Did this happen? Did this happen? Okay. Now look at it and then see if it looks good. Sometimes you guys should be patient enough where that step-by-step -step plan, uh, that step-by-step -step list on your training plan, all those things get hit and sometimes you still shouldn't even trade, right? What if there's news, right? You gotta be patient, you gotta wait for news. Sometimes, you know, if there's news in the market, you shouldn't even trade. <laughs> be open to not trading, okay? In fact, encourage it, okay? You guys need to, <laughs> you really need to just like, take two steps back and understand that this thing will not happen as quick as you think and as and as fast as you want it to the second you understand that you're going to be in this for the long run and all that money that you're thinking about making really won't come until a couple years which is a long time that's when you can be like okay well if i'm not actually going to make money today if i'm not actually going to make hella bread by next week by next month by the next three months then what's the point of me, you know, trading sloppily or like, you know, promoting bad habits? That's what we need to fucking bite in the ass and get get gone. That's what this whole boot camp is all about. Biting those bad habits in the ass and getting them out of here. Um, because a lot of you guys, odds are you've been trading for a while and you have all these bad habits built up. So this is up to us to, you know, fucking nip it in the butt and kill it. Okay. So with that being said, we need to practice patience within the market. Be, be sitting there ready to trade, but you you almost want the market to prove itself that, hey, this setup is so good that there's there's no reason for you not to take it, right? Those are the types of trades that you should be taking instead of the ones that are like, oh, well, like this happened, but this didn't happen. And I'm also not sure because it's against the daily bias and it's off a of retracement. No, bro, that you should not be taking that. You shouldn't be taking that trade, bro. Definitely not. Right. If you're if you're if you're the one to try and force force your bias onto the market rather than having the market come to you rather than just waiting with your fucking sniper out, fucking waiting for that entry to hit and being patient, just waiting for price to develop. Trust me, guys. Yes, maybe you you like waiting an extra one or two candlesticks isn't going to hurt you that much when entering a trade. Sometimes. You know, maybe all your entry, all those uh, execution points get hit and you're like, well, let me wait for one more candle. Let me wait for price to develop. Be patient. See if you get the volume. See if you get the volatility and then enter. OK, because, you know, this this is this is not a game to take lightly. This is a game where you you come into the market with potential to lose money as a job, you come in, you come in every single day, not knowing whether or not you're going to make money or lose money. And that's a lot of pressure. So wouldn't you want to take those high probability setups? Wouldn't you want to be patient and be calm, cool, and collected when those setups come? You probably would. And wouldn't you, wouldn't you not want to force yourself into trades that aren't high probability because you're probably going to lose, right? You would probably want to be patient. Okay. And that's just for the trading part. Now, if we talk about it in life, like for your future, for your for your goals, a lot of you guys, it's good that you set ambitious goals. That's great, but understanding that they aren't going to happen in a day or two days or a week or a month, that's very key. But by being patient and by thinking that way, like, oh yeah, it probably won't happen very soon. Odds are it'll happen a lot quicker than if, you're, if you try and force it. If you try and force it to happen in a month, if you try and force this to happen, if you just take your time with this, it'll all come in due time. Everyone's on a different, different timeline in their trading journey. It took me two years to turn profitable. It might take you five. It might take, you know, little Timmy fucking six months and, he, and he'll be a way better trader than me, right? You guys, 
have to be very patient and understand this is a, a one-on-one game. It's between you and you and you and the markets. Okay, there's no one else. <laughs> there's no one else in this. Okay, if you're if you're the type to like be trading with your boys and stuff, stop doing that, bro. Stop trading with your friends because they are going to have completely different bias that biases than you. They're go- they're going to you know think of concepts differently than you, right? This is a very this is a very individualized job. Everyone trades differently, whether they trade the same strategy. Every single person has something that is slightly different about the way that they trade, right? Day in and day out, if I have the same strategy, if I, even if I have the same parameters as, as everybody else, we're probably going to take different trades because we see things different. You know, we execute differently. That's just how it works. Okay, so hopefully, with that being said, I got the point across. You guys need to be patient when it comes to your goals. Be patient when it comes to trading and executing. And trust me, it will be beneficial way more than you think. I know you're probably wanting to get right into the charts and you think that's what you need. It's not. That is not what you need. You do not need to be placing 10 trades a day to make a lot of money in this. I take one trade a day and I call it good, bro. Like, money will come later. That's another thing. You got to realize you're you're trying to focus on the skill first. Learn the skill and realize that if you're patient and if you actually learn the skill first, that money will come later. So with that being said, there's patience. Your homework for today, this one's going to be fun, man. This, this one is going to be very fun and we'll see who's able to do it. So my basketball coach was really big, big into like mentality stuff. And this was a drill he had us do which was probably one of the hardest things I've had to do mentally in like a long time. Like, and it sounds, it sounds like, like stupid. It sounds kind of bitch made, but trust me, do this and you will realize how fucking hard, hard this is. Okay. Pretty much what you do, you go in your room, sit down on the floor or go in really any room that, you know, you can turn off all the lights in, uh, make sure there's no light coming in, turn off all the lights. Okay. And then put your put your phone outside the door with a timer for 30 minutes. You're going to sit in your room with all the lights off, with your eyes shut, and you're just going to meditate. You're just going to sit there and just focus on your breathing. Just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. You can't stand up. You can't open your eyes. You're just focused, sitting there in dead silence, no music, no light, nothing. Focus on your breathing and just try and empty your head and try it for 30 minutes. It, it was the, I, when I tell you, I thought in, I thought a fucking hour went by and it was probably only 10 minutes because I was in that room. It felt like forever. And hopefully what you'll realize by doing this, and I really encourage all you guys to do it. I like, don't, don't cut it down to 10 minutes. Don't cut it down to 15, 30 minutes, bro. Like, <laughs> Trust me, you will realize how short your attention span is and honestly, how terrible social media and technology is for you by doing this because you'll realize like, yo, 30 minutes in reality isn't that much time. It's not that much time, right? You can waste 30 minutes on your phone doing whatever, but, right, you can waste 30 minutes on your phone very quickly. But when you're by yourself and there's no distractions, Think about how long that time lasts. It's way different. It's way different. And now when you have that realization of how long how long 30 minutes really is, that's when you realize what you can get done during that time. And that's when you can start to realize like how much time you waste doing stupid stuff that take up so much time within that 30 minutes that you could actually be doing, you know, something beneficial, something good, something productive. So with that being said, I encourage you guys, turn this shit off right now. Lock yourself in that damn room, put your phone outside the door with that timer and make, make it an alarm or whatever, like a little, not, a, not like the stopwatch, the actual timer for like 30 minutes and have an alarm go off. Um, so that being said, go fucking meditate, turn, turn off all your lights, close your eyes, focus on your breathing. Trust me. It'll be, it'll be very, it'll, it'll be very interesting to see how you guys react to that and leave a comment, um, on how your experience was with this exercise. If you want to continue it, maybe for less time every day, I used to meditate for 10 hours, uh, sorry, not 10, 10 hours would be crazy. 10 minutes, um, every morning, wake up, take a cold shower, and then I'll just close all the, close, close all the doors, turn off the lights, 
just focus on my breathing really really locks you in it's it's very surprising how um, beneficial meditation can be so with that being said get after it i'll see you guys tomorrow